Hey, bar is open, so let's review this interesting Westland Outpost Range Gariana 7 Edition. Mm -hmm. Hi there, SG Alcohol Guy here, giving you honest reviews on the alcohols that I am tasting. And as mentioned, today I'll be reviewing this pretty unique whiskey. This is the Westland Outpost Range Gariana 7, uh, Edition 7, 7th Edition. And it's a limited annual release because uh, in 2022, only 6,900 of these were bottled. And of course, I got this during the uh, whiskey journey last year. Uh, as usual, I'm keeping them in my storeroom for way too long. But you know, I just wanted to save this for a special occasion. And I'm thirsty today. So that's pretty special. All right. And this is, well, there's a lot of words on the box and on the bottles. So I will put it up and you can read it as I sample the taste. You're welcome. And for the price, now this was again bought during the whiskey journey, so there was like a special price and everything, which uh, because I was so drunk, I don't remember. But I've been on the internet, and I found that in Singapore, there's the fifth edition retailing at 250 Singapore dollars. For that price, it's pretty similar. You will get a 700 ml bottle and 50 percent alcohol contents 50 and you know i'm till i'm moving the bottle to the side so you can see it but you know because the the main part of the label is, is like plain so i'm trying to i'm trying to showcase everything for you now i remember they actually have a nice range of whiskies as well um but after sampling all of them repeatedly I realized that this is the best one. And you can see it's brand new out of the box. You know, and it's, in fact, it's a brand new bottle. The seal is still on. So let me get that out of the way first. And for my regular viewers, you will know that I do review my whiskeys in three ways. Number one, I will be reviewing it neat. Uh, number two, I'll be adding a splash of water to it just to see if it opens up the flavor. And finally, I'll be having it on the rocks. But starting with Neat. Now the name Gariana um, is actually a type of oak, so that they are using a different type of oak to age the whiskey, you know, uh, the, the, to, to make the barrels and age the whiskey. So they're using something called Gariana oak. On top of that, they actually finish the whiskey in wine cask, in, in pre-used wine cask. So let's see if that absorbs the flavors and gives it a more pronounced taste. I remember it being good. That's why I bought it. But it has been almost nine months. So I can't remember the taste as well. So let's find out. Pour just a small little amount into the nosing glass. I'm using a pourer because for some reason these days I keep spilling my whiskeys. Um, you know, I and, and and the multiple washes is damaging my mat, so I have to be more careful these days. I'm pretty sure it's not any alcoholism causing trembling hands, so you know it's a, it's gonna be a mystery. I'm joking. Yeah, close up, you can see how stable my hands are. Kidding again. All right, and what I like to do with my whiskies is I do like to swirl them around the nosing glass. Uh, main reason is I want to see how long it takes for it to settle back down from the sides and it held up there for about five seconds and then it's starting to come down and as it comes down it takes some came down really quickly some take about 10 seconds so I, I'm, I'm guessing there's going to be some diverse notes uh, of flavors in this in fact some are just starting to come down now so I'm so there could even be three different uh, layers of flavors. Scent-wise, 
You don't have to put your whole nose into the whiskey glass, you just put it above it, the smell comes out as you swirl. And despite the price, it still it still has that alcohol smell, you know, that, that um, nail polish remover smell, varnish kind of smell. Yeah, it, it still smells like that. Not entirely pleasant on the nose, but it also has a oaky texture to it. But you know, it, it's still that alcohol in your nose. So with that, let's do taste test one. And to do taste test one, because it's a neat whiskey, what I recommend is for you to exhale your breath out through your mouth, take a sip, swallow it, and then with your mouth closed, breathe in and out through your nose. So this allows the full flavors to play around in your mouth and in your nose to let you understand or, or let you have a, a better taste of the whiskey. Taste test one. This tastes, it has an initial plum taste in my mouth. And it slowly got thicker. And the lingering taste in my, on my tongue is dark chocolate. However, because I also did exhale through my nose, the plum flavor actually escaped and went to, to my, my nasal passage. So, plum, dark chocolate, and a comfortable burn coming down. I was expecting a third flavor, but it's just the burn slowly coming down. So, by itself, I remember why I bought this. This, ooh. Plus the fact that it's limited edition, oh gosh. Having it neat is beautiful. Now, I can't remember if I had it uh, with a bit of water or not, so I will have some with water. And um, let's see if that helps the flavor improve even more. So you already know the method for drinking, so let's go straight to taste test two. Adding a bit of water removed a lot of flavor. However, instead of a plum, it's more like a light cherry note. There's no chocolate, it's just a light cherry note. Um, but it's dry. I can taste the dryness. I can, you know, I can feel the dryness of the whiskey now. The oakiness of it. It's just on my tongue. The, 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 the cherries in my nose. On my tongue is dry. Burn is reduced by, I guess, 80%. You know, it's, it's almost as good as gone. Light burn was a comfortable flavor. Again, a comfortable burn coming down. I prefer it neat. I think it was more nuanced. It was, it had just more layers to it. Uh, and it was so much more full-bodied. Oh, love that. So between having it neat and a bit of water, have this neat. You'd be impressed. And finally, on the rocks. Now there's a bit of water uh, already from the uh, from the ice melting, so let's use that to cleanse the pellets. Distilled water, ice cube. Always the way to do it. And finally, with taste test three, we'll see if the flavor opens up further when chilled. So pour a little bit over the ice cube and I still managed to spill a drop. And set aside a whiskey. You know, again, it's a $250 whiskey if you're getting the 5th edition. The 7th edition is not available in Singapore yet from what I can gather. But I do see other websites uh, posting it with US dollar and um, euros pricing. So I suppose you can get it overseas. Uh, while I'm waiting for that, this is actually from the Westland Distillery, Burlington, Washington, USA. All right, so this is a this is an American whiskey, as opposed to the usual American bourbons that we get. 
now it's an American whiskey. And with that, it should be chilled sufficiently. So taste test three. Don't have it on the rocks. <laughs> All flavor is gone. The alcohol smell appears. Just, just. Yeah. Don't, don't have this chill. I, I highly, highly recommend you do not have this chill. You know, just, just drink it. Neat. Even this is a splash of water, but it's still an improvement over the chilled version. So for this Westland Outpost Range American Single Malt Whiskey Gariana 7th Edition, I recommend having it neat. Yeah, thanks for watching up to this point. I just want to state that all these reviews are based on my personal taste preferences and opinions. They are not to be used as an industry standard. I do, however, want to find out what you think about this Westland Outpost range. You know, have you tried any other additions? How how do they change the flavor? Um, you know, year on year. Drop me some comments. Let's compare some notes. If you're still here, do help me click on the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell because I do try to upload at least one new video every week. Plus, if you know of anyone interested in watching such reviews, do help me send a link to the video as well. And as always, my friends, happy drinking. Oh, still chill. Oh, no good.